My profession is constant miracles all the time. My parents were born in Poland and they survived the Holocaust as children in different ways and met in a kibbutz in Israel that I was born, Kibbutz Dan, on the north of the Galilee. When my mother gave me a violin, and that what inspired her to give me a violin, she's very musical and very good singer, and uh, what inspired her is her brother that was seven years older, I think, or ten years old, I think seven years older, and he was a violinist. His name was Kuba, and he was a violinist. One of the stories she tells me how she, he goes to the window when they are in the go to Warsaw and he sees his, his teacher from the conservatory uh, standing in the street and playing for food, for coins, and he's crying. When I was 10 already, this, uh, I was gravitated towards music as a, as a high form of expression, of living. If you live with music, you are different. I needed a mission in my life, and the mission was uh, this music, the violin. But I didn't know how to go about it. I had to find my own way. If this is the first year I spent so much time in Kensington. I was in Queen and Logan playing last year. And, and Logan and Danforth, and I always play Greenwood this and, and, and uh, Greenwood and uh, Danforth, and, and I play sometimes spontaneously anywhere, and it's okay. Kind of, it's always busy in nice days. There are enough people and enough different people because it's a famous place that everybody comes, and I feel here at home. The hardest places to bask for me was one city in Israel, Netanya, and, and uh, uh, Winnipeg. In general, Toronto is the best in the world for a busker. Well, how can you say that? It's from my experience. But Israel is great, Turkey is great, Moscow is great, New York is great, Berlin is good, good. Europe, there is more like, it's different culture. In, in Europe, or Germany especially, there, uh, there is still this um, order, so much order that people are not used to break the order. So they will not give you. But I broke it when I was there. I had my good time. Took me time to find my way, but I struggled. If you don't give up, the world gives up to you. Mendelssohn, Beethoven, Brahms, Schubert, Mozart, all of them are great. Ba my bedroom is Bach. Maybe because he's... He never... There is no doubt for him that, that God is good, that the universe is good. I had to give up to say, I don't understand this music. I, Bach it was too deep for me for a long time, I didn't understand. I knew that I play it and people say beautiful, but I didn't feel I got it. And I told my friend today, this morning, what is the difference between five years, ten years ago, twenty years ago and today that uh, God came into the equation? Any form of art and behavior, everything you can incorporate this moment that you are totally 100% involved. And that's what the music says, 100% involved. 
Sometimes I felt uh, 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 guilty that I play and somebody else is helping a woman to cross the road while I'm playing. But the truth is that when you are awake and aware and compassionate and, and then all the street becomes like that. Your music changes the whole how people behave with each other. So your influence is very great just if you are awake for this moment. I'm not walking like that all the time. That's why I need these moments of practice. And this is my practice. God grew bunions on my, on my feet, so I can't, it's hard for me to put shoes. And naturally, it's, I, I stand for hours and my feet sweat, so I take off my shoes and, I, and then I feel much better. And then I walk more bare feet and it's better, and everything is better when you are bare feet. Also, your walking is more gentle, more listening to the ground, more careful. People say, you don't walk on glass? No, I don't walk on glass because I see the glass, but when you have shoes, you don't look at the glass because you are defended. So I become like a dancer. Now I have no dreams because this dream of becoming a soloist on the stage doesn't interest me anymore because I like more this uh, prophecy uh, theater. Because you don't give prophecy in a... You can, in a hall. You give prophecy on the street. And for me, my music is a prophecy. It brings these 300 years, 200 years ago, knowledge that was thousands of years before. It brings it to today and shows us that what face the problem that Bach faced in his life and his view about the world and about God, about all, is the same today. Thank you.